Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you may be, welcome back to my channel, My Liberties. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today, we are highlighting the brand Colored Rain Cosmetics. Guys, they just had a really amazing sale, so I picked up a couple of goodies. I want to go over everything in today's video. I also want to highlight a couple of other products, just everything from the same brand. I feel like I don't hear a ton of people talking about this brand. Uh, it is a black-owned, independently operated brand. It is just absolutely fantastic. The quality is genuinely exceptional, so I cannot wait to share all of this goodness with you guys. Before we get started, a very special, very warm welcome to any of those that are new to my channel, and a hi, how are ya, to any of my OGs. I am so very happy that you are here. If you enjoy the content, I do please hope that you will mash that thumbs up button. I hope that you will subscribe if you have not already. And I hope that you will ring my bell, turn on your notifications, so that way, next time I upload a video, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Also, my makeup is done. I did do a TikTok on today's eye look. I used the new Juvia's Place Afro Galactic palette. I have thoughts about this palette. I'm going to save them, however, for next week's New Makeup Monday. So be on the lookout for that one. I do have thoughts about this palette. All in all, it's really pretty. I enjoy the eye look that I was able to come up with today. Of course, I'll put the link to the TikTok as well as all of my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff in the description box below, along with the full list of everything that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And of course, if you have any questions about what I used or how I used it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will get back to you. If you are not following me on all my other socials, you definitely should go do that. I post fun content literally every single day. And if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in to this really fantastic brand. So I have five palettes I want to talk about. And then I also have a couple of lip products. Uh, and then I also have like an eye base. So let's start off with the eye base because I only have one of those to talk about. This is the Colored Rain Paint Base Eyeshadow Base. It's an eyeshadow primer. It comes in a couple of different colors. It's They're mostly skin tones. I picked up the white one because I thought this would be a great cut crease medium, things like that. This at full price goes for $11, which is still pretty affordable. I was able to pick this up on sale for $5. I think at $5, this is amazing. You get a great amount of product in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is very similar to the P. Louise bases, things of that nature. It is a very thick, very creamy, pigmented eyeshadow base. This works beautifully for cutting the crease. I again got it in the shade white. It is, it is, it's nice. It is super easy for cutting a crease. It goes on, it blends really easily. It's nicely pigmented. Yeah, that's, I just enjoy this. Uh, it is a little bit thick. I wouldn't necessarily use this as an eyeshadow base, just if I were doing an everyday eyeshadow look, just because it is so thick and so pigmented. And because my eyes are so wrinkly and hooded, it does tend to crease horribly on me. Uh, so when you put it on, if you're going to use it for uh, just an overall base, you're going to have to set it just because it is going to, uh, to crease on you. Uh, and if you don't set it and just try to set it with your eyeshadow, you're really going to have to pack that eyeshadow on to fully set it. So that way you're, it's just not creasing throughout the day on you anyway. Uh, other than that, I think this is a really beautiful color. Uh, I like the way that it feels. It does set down. It sets down completely and totally matte which I enjoy. And once it sits down, you don't have to worry about it moving on you. It's just until that point, like you do have to worry about it creasing. And then because it sets on its own, you have to worry about it setting in that crease kind of formation. So it's just a little bit tricky to play with if you have hooded eyes or super wrinkly eyelids. However, I still really enjoy this. For five bucks, this is fantastic. For 11, it's still really, really good. If you're into bases like this, 
really nice one. I wish that they had this in like some other colors, you know, like the P. Louise paint faces, things like that. I wish they had like a bright pink and all those different colors because I would pick up one in every single shade. These are so great. Uh, and like I said, they set down completely and totally, and they set down completely matte as well. So if you have like uh, oily eyelids or oily skin, you're not going to have to worry about this like breaking up on you or making your eyeshadow look all weird and gross. Once this sits down, it is not moving and it is so, so nice. Next up, we have some eyeshadow palettes. Let's start with the biggest one. This is the Colored Rain Thunder palette. I have not used this one yet. Well, not for like a full eye look. I have sat down and I have played with it. I haven't filmed with this yet. I haven't filmed with this yet, but y'all, Lord have mercy. This is so so pretty this is just okay also it's got that like holographic 3d kind of you see oh it's got that my son hates that sound but it's got that textured kind of top to it so like the picture moves super cute i will say the colored rain packaging 10 out of 10 really fantastic you can tell that they care about how their products are presented they care about how you feel when you use their products there's just the attention to detail here is so nice uh, and overall even at full price these aren't like insanely expensive at full price this palette goes for $25 which again is a little bit pricey but is totally to be expected when you're dealing with an independently owned brand but y'all oh, I haven't even shown you the, the color story yet so you do get a nice full-sized mirror and then this is your color story so this is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette you have a great mix or a great ratio of mattes and shimmers here so there's a ton of mattes in here to build on uh, and really like set your eye look and then you have all of these shimmers in this row to kind of accentuate with they are beautiful. When it comes to the Colored Rain eyeshadow formula, their matte formula is so creamy and so dreamy and velvety and smooth. It is just, mm, it is so, so good. A beautiful amount of pigmentation, but they're also incredibly buildable as well. So I think this is one of those formulas that would work beautifully for both beginners and pros, just because it's so easy to work with. Like you can go in and even this like super deep dark, look at that, look at that dark, like electric blue. So, so pretty. They swatch beautifully. They're not, they're not, um, patchy. They, they don't, they don't tug on your skin. They just glide on. They work beautifully with both synthetic and natural bristle brushes. They're just super nice. I really enjoy them. Smooth and, and buttery and just gorgeous. I love the color story of this palette so you have your really gorgeous kind of like deep blues but you have everything from fairly deep like you've got something that's almost black in here and you've got like this super deep kind of like black toned midnight blue and then you've got something that's a little bit more blue more like a navy in here and you've got colors that are really like light that's almost white but it's got a little bit of like a gray topiness to it that just really works well I think the color story is well thought out. It's well executed. I think there is a great amount of uh, contrast in here. You get a great amount of depth. And then that's not even touching the shimmers. Then you get into the shimmers. And again, with the shimmers, you have the same thing. Something super light, something deep. And then you've got a couple of mid-tones. I think, again, it's just really beautiful. They're sparkly and they're shimmery and they're gorgeous. And they feel almost wet. It's not a like a, a Beauty Bay formula where it's almost got that putty kind of texture. These just have... They're just good. They're just good. And they swatch for absolutely, like, for days. They're so pigmented. They're so gorgeous. They have a little bit of a switch to them. They're highly pigmented. They're highly reflective. And that is, like, fully opaque gorgeousness right there's no sheerness to it it goes on and it's such a bang like it, it just they're so fantastic i know that i'm just going to continue to say that word over and over and over throughout the course of this video but y'all i genuinely cannot help myself i just think their shimmers are so crazy good and then this let's look at this black one this is like almost like a like a super deep kind of gunmetal gray tone. It looks black in the pan, 
but once you swatch it, it's almost like this really gorgeous, kind of like stormy, deep, gray, blue gunmetal color. Oh, it is so, so nice. I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I cannot wait to play with it. Uh, I, I think, honestly, this is a blue palette, but it's an interesting blue palette. A lot of times you get your blue palettes and there's a couple of pastels in there. There's a couple of icy shades in there, but it's pretty much for the most part, they're all the same tones. The reason I like this palette so much is that they give you something different. There's not a white in here. They give you these kind of gray taupey tones uh, that I think just really complement. Also, the undertone on a lot of these is more purple kind of periwinkle leaning which is so, so nice. Uh, a lot of times when you get those blues, they're leaning a little bit more on the, maybe not so periwinkle, but a little bit on the more, on the other end of the spectrum. This is just something a little bit different. It's a kind of a, a fresher take on a blue palette. It's a little bit more interesting. It gives you blue without being overwhelming, I think. And it is so, so very nice. I'm excited to play with this. Next up, we have Wealthy Chic. This was the one that I was the most excited about. You guys know how I feel about a good green eyeshadow moment. <sighs> this one is just like, oh, again, packaging 10 out of 10, heavy, sturdy, like weighted cardboard packaging. I love that they have a lip on them as well. They're super easy to hold. I have arthritis. So sometimes it can be difficult for me to get things open. These come open, but they also have a magnetic closure to them, which is really, really nice. You don't have to worry about them flinging themselves open. So if you wanted to travel with them, they would be fine. Open it up, you get a nice full-size mirror. And then this is your color story. So this is a six-pan palette. The rest of the palettes that I'm going to talk about in today's video are going to be six-pan palettes. And the six-pan palettes are just, I think they're great guys know usually nine out of ten times I prefer a nice big giant eyeshadow palette but there is a place and a time for a good six pan a uh, six pan is about as small as I go and like still be happy and still have options but I just love the way that these are set up so much again you get a great amount of depth in here so you have something that's really light you have something that's super deep you've got a couple of mid-tones in here you've got oh, they're just you get a good mid-tone shimmer, you get a shimmer that's a lot lighter. Uh, oftentimes, I really don't need a deep shimmer. The only place I would put a deep shimmer would be on the outer corner, but I much prefer to, ha much prefer to have a matte, deeper shade. That way, everything just looks really nice and like tight and put together. I just, I love the tones in this palette as well. So they're a little bit grungy. They're a little bit like a little bit off but in the best way possible these greens are a little bit outside of the norm but they're interesting and i love it so so much again this green this like green shimmer it's just i mean just ugh. it's like a lemon lime really beautiful like green gold like citrusy kind of and it goes onto the eye and it looks just like the swatch on the eye I think that's a problem I've been having with shimmers here recently is they look so beautiful in the pan, but then once you get them on the eye, they're just a little bit lackluster and it's disappointing. However, these just, they look exactly, exactly the way you want them to. This one is like a duochromatic kind of shifty holographic shade. So this one has, it's like icy green, but then it's got reflex of like gold and just oh it almost like glows in the dark really really beautiful love both of those and then you have the mattes and the mattes in here are just as beautiful i just and they swatch so beautifully this is like Sprite in a palette for me. Like it's the Sprite color story stuck into a palette. And I just, I can't get over how beautiful it is. If you are looking to do, like if you want to play with greens, but color is overwhelming for you, or you're not exactly sure where to start, I think little palettes like this are a great, great option. Uh, especially because you get a little, you get to dip a toe without having so many options at one time that you get overwhelmed. I just think palettes like this also are pretty straightforward. The shades themselves pretty much tell you where they go on the eye. Uh, so that's really, really nice. And again, it's just mindless and it's effortless, but you end up with such a beautiful look in the end. I just, ugh. and again, the packaging is just absolutely everything. It's kind of like this holographic green lemon lime packaging. So, it's so beautiful. 
Then we have the, this is the Secret Garden palette. This one I have played with, this one I have filmed with, and it is absolutely everything. I think out of all of the color stories in today's video, this one is the most interesting. I just, there's something about this color story that just makes me so, so happy. Uh, so again, it's the Secret Garden. Can we just give the packaging just a moment to shine? So, so beautiful. Again, same kind of heavy uh, weighted kind of uh, cardboard packaging. But this is your color story. And I love that all of these are matte shades nine times out of ten I'm going to prefer an all matte palette uh, just because as much as I love their shimmers I prefer to build with mattes and then accentuate with shimmers and finding good mattes is sometimes a little bit more difficult uh, than you would like it to be and these mattes are so so good super smooth and velvety creamy almost buttery texture so so nice and I just love the tones in here as well so you get this really gorgeous kind of like mid-toned yellow. So it's bright and it's like happy. But then you have this kind of like grungy army green to kind of contrast with it. And then you pair it with the yellow and it, the yellow brings out the more olive -y tones in that green. It's so, so pretty. But then you put it with this really stunning terracotta. And then all of a sudden you've got something that's tropical and different and something that's completely brand new. I just, and then you've got something a little bit deeper, more of like a really warm kind of toasty brown. And then the last one, you have a really gorgeous kind of like deep green. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. I can't get over how smart these color stories are. It's just, oh, Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Let's do that green in here. Oh, can you, how can you look at that color story and not be like, oh, I want it all over my face. I think I'm missing one tone in here. Yeah, there's one more kind of like warm terracotta shade. So there are all six tones in this palette. Now, again, you're probably not going to be able to get a million and one different looks out of this palette because there's only six shades and there's only so many ways that you can arrange them on your eye. But if you're the kind of person who likes to have a color story that they know that they like, that's easy to dig into, doesn't take a lot of brain power, I think these palettes are so nice. And again, they just feel so so good uh, again I was able to pick up these palettes for seven dollars a piece the like I told you the Thunder palette goes for twenty five dollars I was able to pick it up for ten the wealthy chic goes for sixteen I was able to pick it up for seven the secret garden also goes for sixteen and I was able to pick it up for seven and then last but not least when it comes to the eyeshadow palettes this one and I saved this one for last because I feel like uh, a lot of my a lot of my mamas are gonna think this one is the most beautiful I think the packaging on this one is definitely the most like absolutely stunning out of all of them I just this imagery I cannot get over you guys know I love orange eyeshadow I think orange eyeshadow is my favorite neutral for me orange and yellow it's more of a neutral than it is anything else so it's my kind of a neutral eye look and this is a neutral palette but it's a neutral palette for color lovers this is the queen bee eyeshadow palette this again goes for 16 dollars. i picked it up for seven same kind of packaging again you get a full-sized mirror you get six different shades in here i will say that in all of these palettes you get really generously sized pans of product there is a ton of eyeshadow in here uh so like if you're that kind of person who likes to use the same eyeshadow every day these are going to last you for forever i just i don't even know where to start with this palette uh you get four mattes and two shimmers i think that's kind of a perfect ratio especially if you want a palette that's going to do everything for you you don't have to bring anything else in. Uh, you have a mid-tone shimmer for all over the lid. You have something a little bit lighter for your inner uh, corner and brow highlight. You have this really gorgeous kind of like transition tone. And you've got something for the, uh, it's just, there's a shade in here for everything. You've got this super deep, uh, dark, gorgeous black in here. Absolutely stunning. Their black eyeshadow is, is, is one of the best black eyeshadows I have ever used. It goes on. It is super deep and inky. It's never patchy, but it doesn't stick either. A lot of times the biggest problem I have with 
deep, dark, dark black eyeshadows is that you put them down and they don't want to move. So you end up with that just like one spot of black eyeshadow that won't blend out. These never do that. But I also want to show you guys the embossing on the pans. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. And then this is a duochrome. This is a really gorgeous like green to gold to pink. Kind of like... I mean, like how, how, how it is so pretty. I can't, I can't, I can't. It is a duochrome. So you guys are seeing a really beautiful green, but I am seeing something that's a little bit more pinky purple, uh, golden toned. It is absolutely stunning. And then this one is a really gorgeous, like green gold kind of shade as well. This one is super sparkly and like uh, metallic. This one is a little bit drier. It's not quite as like velvety and buttery as the other one is, but I'm going to assume it's because it's got those little micro glitters in it. But y'all, like just look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. And then you've got your pretty standard kind of like warm neutral tones, right? You've got a yellow in here. You've got like a warm, like almost mustardy brown. You've got something that's a little bit deeper, a little bit more red. This is kind of like a burnt sienna color deep rich black i think that this is going to make such a beautiful beautiful eye look i think this would be perfect in summer it would be perfect in fall and spring and and i in every season in between i think it's beautiful absolutely stunning for seven dollars y'all i just i cannot that's what a dollar 25 a shade you cannot beat it you cannot beat it i think it's absolutely probably like I don't know my math is off but either way it is so so pretty I am so excited to have these in my collection I'm going to play with them non-stop I can already tell uh next up I want to talk about a couple of lippies and then I will release you but I wanted to highlight the colored rain lippy formulas because a lot of their lippies are sold out right now I am hoping 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 that they are going to restock but the ones that they do have left in stock are on sale for five dollars a piece they have some really beautiful neutral tones left uh the matte liquid lipsticks are all gone pretty much all gone I think but they have some bullet lipsticks that are stunning the bullet lipstick formula is creamy and dreamy and just it is absolutely gorgeous I cannot find my colored rain bullet lippy right now, making me very, very sad uh, because I wanted to showcase it in today's video, but I hunted everywhere for it and couldn't find it. So I just pulled out my liquid lippies. Now the colored rain liquid lippies come in this packaging. They are so distinct. I know when I'm looking for my colored rain lippies, all I have to do is look for that pink top they're so identifiable and I really enjoy that especially when you have a lipstick collection like I do uh, identifying markers like this really really help uh, so I have a couple of different formulas this is just the straight up matte liquid lipstick this one is in the shade Jade and it is a super deep inky kind of like leafy green and they make their, I mean, they're a black owned brand. So a lot of their pigments and a lot of their colors are super rich and high intensity so that they show up on a darker skin, skin tone, right? But also if you just really love an intense lip or an intense eye moment or intensity just across the board, Colored Rain is going to provide it. They're, oh, they're just so good. So again, this is the shade Ivy. Yeah, this is the shade Jade, and this is just a really gorgeous, leafy, almost teal kind of green color. That's what it looks like swatched. This is a matte liquid lipstick, but there is the tiniest bit of a metallic quality to this. So that way, when it dries down on the lip, it doesn't look cracky and dry. It still looks like there's a little bit of life to your lips. There's still a little bit of movement there. Y'all, these things dry down and they don't freaking budge. They do not budge until you decide to take them off. I mean, unless you're sitting there sipping on like or eating on something really, really oily. Because, again, oil is going to break these down. Let's check my bat wings. Uh, but oil will break these down. So you need to take it off with like an oil-based remover, something like that. But otherwise, these last all day. They look beautiful all day. They don't patch. They uh, wear off.
beautifully and gracefully. They're just, they're so, so nice. I have a couple of different green tones because uh, they were having a sale on a lot of their weird, wacky colors one time. I've had these in my collection, I want to say, for at least six months at this point. This is the shade Ivy, and this one is just a really gorgeous, like, ivy green color, but it is so pretty, perfect for this time of year. It's deep and it's dark. It's a little bit vampy. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in these tones, but this one has a little bit more of a blue undertone to it, and there's a little bit more of a metallic sheen to this one, whereas this one is just flat matte. There's no metallic -y to it, and this one has more of a yellow kind of undertone to it. It's not quite as, like, blue-toned. They're both really, really pretty. Next up, we have the shade Honey Mustard, and this is not a shade that I ever wear on its own, but this is one of the most beautiful shades to pop into the center. It just looks so pretty, uh, especially if I want to do something with a little bit of a golden like hit to it. This will do it. This is the shade Honey Mustard, and that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like straight up Honey Mustard. It is a really gorgeous mustardy golden tone, but it is so unique and so beautiful. This with a really like thick, bold, dark brown kind of outline is such an, an amazing, interesting lip look. So beautiful. Or even if you wanted to take this and just pop this in the center, I've used this color with pink before. I've used it with orange. I've used it with brown. And because it's so pigmented, literally the tiniest bit of this will take you the very furthest way. I will literally just dot the tiniest bit right in the center of my lip and then I will take a very tiny little lip brush and just kind of blend it out and it ends up looking let's do a little bit of it let's do a little bit of I will show you what I am talking about because I know that yellow is one of those colors that people are like a little bit iffy about and I feel you because yellow is not a color that a lot of us think very often when we think of lipstick but you put the tiniest bit right in the center of your lips and then take a brush and just kind of tap it out and it goes with any color and gives the most gorgeous kind of brightening golden tint. It is so pretty. It is one of, it is my favorite shade in my collection to do an ombre lip with. Like, and even, you can't even really tell that it's yellow. It just gives a little bit of warmth. It just kind of brightens up the center of your lips and it looks so, so beautiful. I adore the shade. This shade is still available on the website. So if you want to go check it out, it's only five bucks. Next up, we have the Ocean Glow. So this is the Ocean Glow uh, Lip Veil. Now this very much looks like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry down. This one is gonna be a color that you kind of put over top of, I don't know, it, cause it, this one I think is a little bit weird because it is super, super pigmented and very matte. Like, but there's a little bit of like shimmer to it and it doesn't dry down. So I'm not exactly sure what this was supposed to be meant for. But this is what it looks like swatched. It's a really gorgeous kind of like turquoise teal color. And it has just, you can see, it's super shiny. It's got just a little bit of a glitter kind of pigment to it. I want to put a little bit on and kind of blend it out because I think it looks even prettier once you blend it out. I think this could be another one of those shades that you could use as a, like a blending shade or like an ombre shade. You blend it out. And it just looks so pretty. There's this super gorgeous kind of turquoise shimmery mermaid quality to it. The only thing about this is I wish that it dried down fully because uh, it, it just it makes it a little bit difficult to wear. It is very, very pigmented. Uh, and because it doesn't dry down on the lips, it can be very, very messy. When it comes to the texture of all of these liquid lipsticks, super thin lightweight it dries down quickly and completely but it doesn't get like tight or anything like all three of these colors the matte ones are dry yeah and they're not moving they're not going to go anywhere they're going to last until you decide to take them off 
I next have the shade, ooh, this is the shade Blackberry. This is another one of my absolute favorites. This is probably my favorite blue in my collection. It is a super deep, deep kind of like blueberry. That's it right there. It almost looks black. It's a super deep, like purpley blue color. It is a straight up matte liquid lipstick. Absolutely stunning. And then last but not least, I have a lip gloss. And this lip gloss is actually the one that I was wearing a little bit earlier. This is the Blueprint Liquid Lip, uh, yeah, so just the Blueprint Lip Gloss. And yo, okay, also, I think the applicators are a little bit different. So instead of them having like a shape to them, it's just a really thin rectangular paddle. And it's very, very bendy as well. So it really conforms to the lips. And it makes it, mm, it makes it really easy to like line and like glide across the lips. I love this lip gloss. I love it. It is a super gorgeous kind of like glowy purple color. There's a little bit of glitter in there as well. It is a, it's a thicker gloss for sure, so it's got a great amount of staying power to it, but it doesn't really migrate on me. This is not one of those glosses that I would glob onto my lips though, because it is a thicker formula. If you build it up too much, it's going to get gloppy and stringy, and it's going to end up moving into the corners of your mouth, but just a thin layer, and it makes your lips look so juicy and glossy and gorgeous. I adore it, and I think it's a little bit of a different kind of weird color especially on somebody as pasty as I am. I just love the contrast of this kind of like super sheer, almost purpley blue lip gloss. So pretty. With a brown lip liner, baby, you are good to go. Even popping this on top of a really beautiful like pink lipstick would be really beautiful as well. I think this is super nice. Uh, like I said, all in all, Colored Rain is a, it's an incredibly interesting brand. Uh, I do, of course, they are more focused toward women of color. And, you know, we love that about them. Uh, but also, you know, for like us pasty people, I think these formulas and these colors are really beautiful as well. I love everything that I've ever picked up from the brand. I think they're incredibly inclusive in all of their shade ranges, things like that. They also offer like, um, foundation sticks that they were on sale. I just didn't have enough money to pick them up. They look really beautiful as well. Uh, the shade range for the foundation sticks is really gorgeous. I just, I am excited to see what they do in the future. Uh, they mostly focus on eyeshadow, but they do come out. They have some, uh, like, cream blushes that look stunning. I definitely am waiting for them to go on sale so that I can pick one of, or two of them up. They have this orange one and this purple one in the shade Butterfly that I want so badly. I'll pop up a picture of it, but it looks so beautiful. I want to try it out so, so badly. And I just know it's going to be super pigmented and like just gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait. To, I cannot wait for it to go on sale or until I have a little bit of extra money to go pick one up because come heck or high water. I'm getting one in my collection. I'm getting that purple butterfly blush. I need it in my life. Guys, I love you so, so very much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely go check out this brand. Support independently owned brands. Support black owned businesses. It's so important. And this one is just like, oh, and if you can get their stuff on sale, I promise you, you will not regret it. It is so nice. The quality is definitely there. The packaging is absolutely stunning. I just love, I love everything about this brand. I hope you do too. Guys, I love you so, so very much. Uh, as always, no filters, no fancy lighting. It is just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.